Here's another problem in the category of percentages, and let's read the problem. Mary is paid $325 per week, plus a commission of 8% on sales. How much does she need to sell to make $500 per week? All right, so what we're trying to figure out is how much she needs to sell, how much sales she needs to make. So let x equal the amount of sales. All right, now we need an equation to describe mathematically what's written in those sentences. So let's see here. The total amount that she makes, so total income, is the sum of her weekly pay plus how much she makes in commission. All right, so that would be weekly pay plus commission. All right, so now let's write that uh, in an equation, translating the total income. Uh, that would be what she wants to earn. So $500 total income equals her weekly pay, straight pay of $325 plus the commission. And the commission, she earns 8% on everything she sells. So that would be 8% of sales and we define the amount of sales by x so now we can write 500 equals 325 plus 8 percent of x and of course we don't want to write it like that we want to write we want to write it with a decimal so that means 500 equals 325 plus 0.08x, because 8% is the same as 0 0.08 in decimal. And now we're ready to solve for x. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the decimal place. So we multiply both sides by the appropriate number. Since there are two decimal places, that means we want to multiply both sides by 100. So the left side times 100, the right side times 100. That should get rid of the 0 0.08. All right, 500 times 100 is 50,000 equals 100 times this is 32,500 plus 8x. Now the next thing I want to do is move all the x's to the left side, all the numbers to the other side, so it becomes minus 8x. Remember, whenever we cross the equal sign, we change the sign and the 50,000 goes across here, that changes the sign as well. So eight, minus 8x is 32,500 minus 50,000. So we end up at a minus 8x equals, the difference between those two is minus 17,500. Now we divide both sides by 8, or actually a minus 8. So that cancels out, and minus 8 goes into 17,500. Now you probably want to go grab a calculator. However, if you remember how to do this longhand, we can say, well, 8 goes into 17 two times, so x equals 2. 2 times six, 8 is 16, 16 subtract from 17 is 1, we drop down to 5, that gives me a 15, 8 goes in 15 one time, 1 times 8 is 8, 8 subtract from 15 is 7, drop down the next number, that's a 0, 8 goes into 70 8 times, 8 times 8 is 64, 64 subtract from 70 is 6, drop down to 0, 8 goes into 60 7 times, 7 times 8 is 56, that leaves me a remainder four, drop down the next zero, but now we're past this point right here, so we need to put the decimal place. 40, eight goes into 45 times, and x equals that. If you didn't follow that, because most of us nowadays don't like to do that kind of thing anymore, we don't do that in school as much as we used to, when I was your age. Um, well, uh, another way you could do that is longhand, or just simply grab a calculator and solve for that number. Now, of course, X represents the amount of sales, and that would be in dollars, so we had under zero, put a dollar sign in front of it, so this is equal to $2,187.50. And that would be the amount Mary would have to sell each week in order for her to earn $500.